good evening friends how are you uh, i'm fine as well um today i'm going to show you how you can easily connect to your uh, private rds using a twin gate vpn so uh, let's get started so first i have uh, i'm going to show you to create a new instance and connect to twin gate and then i'm going i have already created an rds in a private uh, subnet so it's privately accessible and then i'm going to show you that how easily with doing it, you can connect to that private instance. So at first, uh, let me show you that I cannot connect uh, to that instance using without doing it because uh, it's privately accessible. So I am now not logged in as a twin gate. So it is I have to log in. So I'm now trying to connect to this uh, RDS uh, instance from my local mysql workbench and it will show me a connection timeout error so because the rds is in a private subnet and it doesn't have any public ip to access it and it will it will fail now what we are going to do is yes this is the error so now what we are going to do is we are going to create an ec2 instance and install twin get agent over there and then using twin get we will we will see how easily you can connect. So let's get started. First, I'm going to click launch here. And then I'm going to uh, choose give it a name. I'm going to choose Amazon Linux free tier. Then I'm going to use an existing key pair. And for the network, I'm going to use my own VPC. And inside there, I have uh, public subnets and private subnets. I'm going to use the public one. And I'm going to create a new uh, security group, or I'm going to use the existing one. There should be some existing ones as well. Oh, so it restarted. Uh, let me give it a name. Then I'm going to uh, choose a key pair, select the network. <laughs> public, I'm going to assign a public IP here. I'm going to select an existing security group, which is default. And then in the advance, I'm going to select an IEM profile. And everything as default. Let's launch the instance. Great. So the instance uh, it's about to be created. Let's go to the console, and uh, here it is. So uh, it is taking one or two minutes time for the instance to be uh, started with. And let's see. This has a public IP and private IP as well. So uh, I'm going to refresh. It's running. Now I'm going to log into TwinGet and uh, let's go to TwinGet. And I created a resource here, the WC Kati. And uh, then I'm going to connect. So I'm going to click the deploy connector button. I'm going to choose Docker. And here I'm going to generate my tokens. When you generate the tokens, they will ask you for uh, signing in again so that they know that it's your account. Now I'm going to uh, go to the last part where I have the commands and I can just copy the command. And let's go to the instance, try to connect. <laughs> Let's connect to that instance. First, I need to install Docker because uh, this is the command for a Docker. So it, it will run a Docker image. So I will need to install Docker. So let's take root privilege, install Docker. Pretty simple, yum install Docker. It will install you the latest version of Docker. At this moment, it's 20, but in your case, it might be different. 
So it will take around 30 seconds for the Docker installation part. Then I'm going to start the Docker. Then I'm going to run the command that will be provided one. So let's clear the screen. System CTL, restart Docker. It will start the Docker because it was turned off. Docker is running. Then I'm going to just copy the command and uh, paste it here exactly as it is. No need to change anything at all. Just press enter. <laughs> That's it. Wow. All those things are up and running and my uh, connection is should be ready if i refresh this page yeah yeah spicy walnuts is now connected it shows the green that means it's connected i was testing previously is with this but this is now connected now i'm going to add a new uh, i have already added a resource here but maybe i can just delete so that i can show you how to add a new resource so the resource would be my uh, RDS, right? So I'm going to give it a name, RDS, and then I'm going to give you the DNS address. DNS address means the um, host name of the RDS. So in that case, this is my host name. Go to doing it, give the name and add resources. Choose the users, that's it. So my uh, Twingate connector is established. I have added the resources. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my local uh, Twingate. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, connect that Twingate to my uh, actual Twingate account. So this is my local agent, which will connect to the real uh, Twingate uh, account from the browser and then it will authenticate. That's very interesting because it shows, you see, now it's, it will show that it is connected. So it is now connected here and it, it, it has uh, like the resources. This is the resource name, all those things. That's okay. Now I'm going to close this. I'm going to uh, now connect to that RDS using the Twinget VPN. So let's go to my RDS section. And uh, I already created this connection, but I'm going to show you what I have did. Just as the host name, I give him the host name. And the username is uh, admin. You go to the configuration. You will see the username is, um, where is the username? This is the username. And the password, uh, uh, this is a strong password. You can just copy it from password generator. And this is a test database. So you can see that as well. Uh, password is stored in the vault and all informations are sent. Now I'm going to close it, <coughs> search for Twingate again. And I'm going to try to connect it. So it is trying to connect. And meanwhile, uh, uh, because it's in a private network, so it's going through the VPN channel and it's connected. So that's that's the beauty of Twingate that you can connect using any of your private instance using Twingate without being worried about uh, those uh, publicly accessible or not, whether you whitelist your IP address or et cetera. It's an awesome technology and uh, I really love them. So visit their page they have a, a free tier and try to use those if you need it so this is it for today i hope this helps you to get started and make sure you use private uh, instances for your database related things thank you have a nice day bye bye